All right, here's section one of the chapter review. Uh, I've got to graph this thing with all graphing. Um, first, I'm going to see if I can do it with transformations because I think that's a little bit easier. And if you strip transformations away, my parent function is x to the fourth. So I will, uh, real quick, uh, create a little xy table for x to the fourth, which would be, if I plug in, say, negative 2, negative 2 to the fourth is 16, um, negative 1 to the fourth is 1, 0 to the fourth is 0, 1 to the fourth is 1, and 2 to the fourth is 16. Um, so I'm just creating an x, y table for my function x to the fourth, plug in those numbers. Uh, then I'll look over here and i try to identify my transformations. So I see a plus 1 inside the parentheses, uh, and then I see a minus 3 outside, and those are the only two I see, and both of those are shifts, uh, and I'll try to keep it color-coded here. The plus 1 inside is going to be a shift to the left one. You always go the opposite if it's inside with the x. You have minus 3 on the outside. Whoops. That's right. Left 1. And on the outside, I'm subtracting 3, so that means I'm going to go down 3. Uh, and there is no multiplication. Uh, so I will simply take these five points, shift them left 1 and down 3. Uh, negative 2, 16, and positive 2, 16. I want to be aware of where those points are, but those y coordinates are so high, I'm not going to be able to get that graph. So negative 2, 16 is way up here. If I shift left 1 and down 3, it's still way off the graph. So I'm going to worry about these three points right here. So I'm going to graph these three. Negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1. That would go left 1 and down 2, 3. 0, 0 at the origin, I'll go left 1, down 2, 3. 1, 1, I'll go left 1, down 2, 3, and I have these three points. And then you need to just be aware that negative 2, 16, that when I go left 2, or left 1 and down 3, that's going to be somewhere way up here, and the other one is also going to be somewhere way up here. So when I graph, I'm going to be coming in crazy steep. I'm going to be coming in really steep, really steep at that point, and we're going to go back up really steep. So there's number one. Uh, number two, <clears throat> same type thing. We're going to identify the parent function and then list all transformations. Um, I see something to the fifth. I see a plus one a divided by two. And then it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little negative there. It kind of blends in with the fraction bar. So there are three transformations. One, two, three. And I'm going to start by listing some ordered pairs for my parent function x to the fifth. And if I plug in some numbers there, negative 2 to the 5th is negative 32. Negative 1 to the 5th is negative 1. 0 to the 5th, 1 to the 5th, and 2 to the 5th. And then I look at my transformations. Um, I see a plus 1 inside the parentheses. And that means I'm going to shift left 1. And all shifts will go in the end or at the bottom. We do those last. So I'm going to go left 1. I also see that my divided by 2, that is not inside with the x. So that divided by 2 is going to affect the y coordinates, which means I'm going to divide my y's by 2. So uh, over here, when I do my transformations, I know I'm going to have to divide my y's by 2. Uh, and then also this negative, that's like saying negative 1 times all that stuff. Uh, so what we're actually going to do, there's a negative on the outside. We're going to, for this negative, multiply the y's by negative 1. So we're going to multiply the y's by negative 1 and divide by 2. And we can do those at the same time. I'm going to multiply by negative 1 and divide by 2. My x's aren't being changed. The only thing I'm doing to my x's is I'm going to shift left 1. So uh, let me transform all of those points. Um, I have negative 2, the x's won't change. 32 divided by 2 is 16, and we're going to change the sign. That's going to become positive 16. Uh, negative 1, negative 1, I'm going to multiply by negative, make it positive 1, and then divide by 2. That'll give me positive 1 half. 0, uh, 0 divided by 2, and times negative 1 is still 0. Uh, 1, 1, that'll be 1, negative 1 divided by 2. We change the signs of the y's and divide by 2. So 2. 32 is going to become negative 16. 
Okay, so I'm going to take those points. Then I need to shift left one. I've already done the dividing and the multiplying, so I'm going to shift left one. So negative 2, 16. Left one is way the heck up there somewhere. Negative 1, 1 half. Go left one. 0, 0. Go left one. 1, negative 1 half. So 1, negative 1 half. Whoops. Go left one. And then 2, negative 16. Go left one. And this thing is going to come down crazy steep. Because I was supposed to be way up here at negative 3 sixteenth when I shifted left. So I'm going to have to come in like I'm hitting that point, come down really steep. Then we're going to do this little inflection thing. But then I'm going to have to go down really steep also. So there's our graph for number two.